Well, hello and welcome back to My House of Mystical Embers. So for today's video, we are doing another installment of not so new, but new to me makeup. In addition to testing out and trying some new products. So if you guys wanna see the products that I'm going to be using and what makeup look I come up with, then please stay squad and I would like to welcome any new viewers out there today and I do sure hope that you decide to become part of my glam fam today and if you do then please be sure to hit that subscribe button and that little bell notification up at the top that way you could be notified when I upload new content so for today's video I haven't done a makeup video in quite some time so I thought I would decide to do a not so new but new to me uh, makeup video and also testing out a few new products that um, that I have and we'll see how it goes. So the palette that I'm going to be using today is the Carly Bible palette from uh, Anastasia of Beverly Hills. Now I've had this palette for quite some time. I believe I purchased it I think it was last year, late last year. Um, I did play around with it a couple times and I did do a, um, a video on it, but I didn't like the way the video came out and I ended up scrapping it and I just never really got back into playing with this palette. So I thought I would do something kind of soft today. Um, but this is what the palette looks like if anybody is unfamiliar. Very gorgeous colors in here. I do love all the shimmers. You know your girl loves her shimmers. Um, we are also going to be doing something that I don't normally do. So I did receive this um, Pureless BB Cream in my BoxyCharm box. So I'm going to be testing that out to see how well it works for me. I did a previous video for a uh, BB Cream air cushion, but the, the color was pretty light on me. And I, you know, I can still use it even though I have to warm it up some. But um, ironically enough, I did wear that all day and I did not have any sort of breakouts because I have really sensitive skin and most foundations I just cannot use uh, maybe if it's in a powder form I think it would probably be better but any type of liquid foundation I don't care what it is if it says it's even if it says you know it, it, it helps with you know acne or breakouts or whatever I always always end up with a breakout like within like a few minutes after you know having any type of cream contour or any cream products on my face period so um, we're going to test this out and see how it works and I'm also going to be doing something that I don't normally do. I was going, I got this in my, I think it was my FabFitFun box, but this was the, this is the makeup drop. It's a hybrid. Um, so I'm going to test it out to see how well it works, but I'm not too familiar with sponges because as you know, I don't do face products unless it's a bronzer and that's pretty much where I draw the line on that one. But I'm trying to get out of my comfort zone a little bit, um, try new products, new techniques of doing things, you know, just to kind of help improve my makeup skills a little bit. So, oh, and I think I forgot my brushes. I'll be right back. Okay, I'm back. So I'm not going to attempt to do a contour yet today. I think that's gonna be a whole separate video of me actually attempting to contour. If, if the BB cream actually works really well, and I, I'm gonna do that. And yes, I finally got my nails done. Um, my husband went back to work recently within the past week and I was finally able to get my nails done again. So very happy about that. Uh, only thing is though, is that there just really is no business um, in the nail shop that much because you know, they can only work at around half capacity and you have to make an appointment in order to um, go in and it's just I don't know it's terrible I just wish everybody would just 
decided to just stay at home and just try to get rid of this whole fiasco thing that's going on with this sickness and so everybody can just get it done and over with get rid of it and just try to be back to normal okay <laughs> so um, I'm a beginner at this guys so please be gentle with me I'm not sure how to do this now I hope this color isn't going to be too dark on me it does look a little bit dark for my skin tone because I got it in Color is this? It's a medium tan, and I haven't been out in the sun too much, so I don't know. We'll see how this goes. So I might not even need a bronzer. So I'm using this silicone side. I've seen some reviews. Oh, this does look a little dark. Yeah. Maybe I can just spread it out. Yeah, not too sure about this silicone side. It feels like, like when I tap it. I don't know, I'm not no blending brush expert here, but I do feel that this color is a little too dark but we're gonna go with it for the most part I just want to see it looks kind of pat maybe I should use the spongy side my glasses I can't see but for me I kind of feel like it's just a bit patchy a little tiny drop of like this little much for my for my forehead Let's see how that works on my little um I'm gonna say my new little journey of face makeup I just want to try to find ways to reduce time because me I don't like to sit for hours on end applying makeup like concealer and contour and all that jazz. I mean, I know it's for some people, but it's just not, it's not my cup of tea. Makeup video. <laughs> that was my husband. He had to come in here and bother me. Huh? 
Okay, well, good luck, baby. He's trying to, I took his truck in for an oil change and the lady told me that his front blinker, the, the turn signal was out and come to find out it ended up being the back one. So I ended up purchasing for the front which actually, I don't think that this is too bad after I blended it out some. I mean, it don't look too, too dark. I don't know if I got it blended enough. Or if it's even. I don't know. Let, let me know, guys, on if there's something. Because like I said, I'm a beginner at this. So I feel very, very newbie <laughs> for the most part. But uh, I'm a work in progress when it comes to the whole uh, foundation and facial thing. But, and, and I don't mind that it's not like a full coverage product because I, I, I do like my natural features, my flaws and all. Even my little dark spots, which I'm trying to get rid of. And I'll probably do a video on that too. I actually bought a mole remover pen which can actually remove like skin tags because I got a, quite a few skin tags that I want to get rid of my husband does too and it also showed on there that it gets rid of like these dark spots and age spots and stuff like that of course this is my birthmark so that baby's gonna stay but up here above like from where I've had waxing done I have discoloration up there so enough about that but that's gonna be a future video so I'm just chit-chatting so, let's find me some brushes. Okay. I guess I'll just throw everything out. Okay, I don't have my base brush, but I guess I'll use something else because I don't, don't want to go and and I guess for the most part, I'm not going to have to do any bronzing. So, because this looks pretty, pretty colorful on me for the most part. I guess we we'll use this. And I didn't grab my color switch. I'll be right back. I'm back. And this one hair is being difficult today. I don't know why, but she just does not want to stay put. Probably because I did trim my bangs down some, so. And it's so hot today. I think we're like in the heat index, so it's like 95 degrees, and they said it feels like it's 103. So we're pretty much staying in, in the house today. My husband was wanting to go fishing, but I don't know. So I'm gonna go in with this color bear. That's gonna be my base. And as y'all know, ABH shadows are very soft, so you really do have to go in with a light um, hand when you're picking up the shadows. And they're really, their formula is very, very good. They're always buildable, which is what I like. But I love ABH shadows. Now granted, I do not own all of her palettes because some I just know that I wouldn't use on a regular basis and grab it towards too, which is, um, the only ones that I don't have is I don't have the Amrezy palette and I don't have, um, the I think it was Riviera or something like that. I don't own that one. I mean, I do have some colorful palettes, but I just, I don't want to keep wasting money on palettes that I know just may end up just pretty much sitting, you know, use them once and sit around. I don't want to do that. I just, especially now that I have accumulated so much makeup over between like the last year or two that I really just want to try and tone it down a little bit. All right, so we're going to go on with this color Bible, which is this very beautiful, it's like a, 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 um, a dusty rose color, which I... I love those colors. Those are the ones that I tend to gravitate towards more. I think it's a very beautiful color. And that's gonna go into my crease. So 
I just want to do just a little soft look today because I don't know. My husband was talking about going fishing earlier and then he decided not to, so I don't know. We may end up going fishing later and I don't want to spend too much time on that. He wants to go and take off. So and this is a beautiful soft color. I just love these soft pink rose colors. Okay, so we hold that down. And Don't mind me, I'm just a hot mess. I'm just a little bit out of sorts, but God, you know, when am I not out of sorts when I'm doing a video, to be honest? <laughs> but I think it's even worse now because I haven't um, really done anything in a while. Oh yeah. But I have done my unboxing videos. That's the one thing I always try to make sure that I get done. What do we want to do on the outer corner? I don't know. I think I'm going to go in very lightly with this Stev color. Just to kind of deepen up the outer corner just a little bit. But I don't want it too... Whew, I don't want it too, too, like, dark. I think another reason why I haven't done any videos in, in the, with like at least within the last week is because my husband actually, um, if you haven't seen on my IG page, my husband surprised me. We had a spur of the moment trip to Kentucky to go see my kids for my birthday. <laughs> so we did that this past weekend. Um, I was actually off um, Monday and Tuesday because my birthday was on Tuesday. So I had decided that I wanted to take Monday and Tuesday off for my birthday because I, I never, I never really take any days off on my birthday. And for some reason this year I just decided I wanted to. Oh yeah, that looks gorgeous. I love that. And so, Saturday night, this past Saturday night, so this is, this is a funny story. So. And we were, it, you know, and of course it's just me and him because my babies are grown. And um, I actually had called my son. Me and him, we were just chilling at the house. You know, he was drinking, you know, having a little food and just drinking, just sitting around chilling. And um, <clears throat> I happened to call my son, so I was video chatting with my son, and 
um, I had told, granted, I told my husband earlier that day that I had taken Monday and Tuesday off because we was out grocery shopping. And apparently he must not have listened, but of course you know, most of them they don't listen. So then the comment got brought up again, and then all of a sudden he's just like, oh, well, since you're off on Monday and Tuesday, why don't we just, you know, go down to Kentucky and, you know, go see the kids for your birthday. I was like, oh, okay. So needless to say, we ended up packing up and we took off and headed to Kentucky. Hmm. Now to decide what shimmer I want. I think I'm gonna go in with this bully color here. I'm gonna see how well this shows up. Ooh, Now there is a little bit of fallout, so I guess I should have did my BB cream before I did my eyeshadows because I don't have those eye shields. It's just a little bit, I mean it's not much to where you can like see it. So, anyway, back to my um, so yeah, so we got down there um, early Sunday morning, and I spent the next three days in Kentucky visiting with my kids, and I haven't seen my kids in, it's been a long time, and I actually got to meet my youngest grandbaby for the first time, I was so excited, she's so adorable. Just love her to pieces. Oh yeah, that's gorgeous. Gorgeous. So I just want to blend this out just a little bit. Just want to diffuse this in. Very beautiful light, you know, makeup look today. Now for the lower lash line. So I'm going to go back in with the step a little bit, and we're going to go in from here into the middle. I always like to do like a halfway with the darker color, and then I'll go in with something much lighter. So anyway, so we didn't get back home until Tuesday afternoon and oh my god we were so tired from the trip because we pretty much we drove straight through um, and which it took us about seven almost eight hours you know in between stops for gas and food or whatnot you know to drive from uh, Maryland to Kentucky so now 
I want to go in with this color to finish off the lower lash line. I just want to see how this color looks. It looks very glittery though. So there might be a lot of fallout. Yeah, this is a real glittery shade. So I'm just tapping that in there. This is a very glittery shade. I'll put a little glitter there, but there's not much showing up. So I'm gonna go back in with something else to put into my inner corner, which I think I'm going to use my, this must be an ABH day, because for some reason I got compelled to grab my <clears throat> ABH Moonchild Glow Kit, which I've had forever, and as you can see, this thing still looks new. So, we are going to pop some of that highlight into the inner corner. I'm going to use this little teeny brush here. So, yeah, so I was so tired, and I didn't get my laundry done until Thursday <laughs> or get things unpacked. I mean, and it's so funny how, you know, when you're, you think, okay, you're sitting in a car, you're not doing anything, but you're sitting on your butt, but oh my God, driving is so extremely tiring, very tiring. Okay, so I'm going to go in with this pink heart here, highlight, and we're going to highlight the inner corner. I do not use this palette enough. And now I'm gonna go in with blue ice and I'm gonna use that to um, highlight my brow bone. So yeah, so that's been my past week and I have just been really tired and just kind of worn out. I haven't even worked out, just mainly just coming home, just trying to get back to normal. Cause it's like even when you go on a trip for a few days and then when you get back home it's like i don't know my routine gets screwed up and it just takes me a few days to try to get back to any type of normal my Tarte Easy on the Eyes eyeliner. I have been enjoying this eyeliner. It performs really well, but if anybody is wondering.
And there's Odin. You guys haven't seen Odin in a while. Say hi, Odin. Say hi to everybody. He's just chilling. And I am using my It Cosmetics Superhero Mascara. Okay, Odin, you just, oh man. He bumped me and now I have a mascara mess. Right there. Mm -hmm. bad. I smudged it out. Okay, and the next thing that I'm going to be using that I haven't used in a while, and Odin, please get down, is my Hourglass, which is the Ambient Lighting Blush. I don't know, I'm just going all pinky today. Which I don't think this really showed up that well, but I do like it.
watching my makeup video. And then I'll be, you want to say hi? Pick your head and I say hi. <laughs> I think I'm being summoned. <laughs> okay, so we got that done. And last but not least, I am going to be... I'm going to be testing out my Sheen um, lip color. I wanted to try my nudie, my more lighter nudie one, but I found this one. So we're gonna test this one out and see. So I haven't tried um, these lip colors yet. I love this color. Now these do dry down really quickly, so just so you know, give that a little thought that these do dry down really fast. They're not really what you would call sticky. There is a little bit of stickiness, like, well that's because it's probably not completely, completely dry down, but it just feels like, you know, any other high-end matte, honestly. But I like this color, so this is the look that I came up with. So give me your guys' your thoughts. How did you like my look? What did you think of the products that I used? Are you familiar with any of them? And honestly, tell me what you guys thought about my um, the BB cream. I think the color after I blended it out pretty good, it didn't. It turned out to be not as dark. But let me know your guys' thoughts on. Uh, the color combination here. I'm not sure I got it blended down too much on my neck, but I mean, I might be able to lighten it up a little bit with um, something lighter. But I got my glasses on. So anyway, so I hope that you guys enjoyed this video. And please give me a thumbs up if you did. If you don't, then give me a thumbs down, which I hope you didn't. But anyway, <coughs> I hope that everybody is having a magical, mystical, and wonderful day. And please keep the embers of love and happiness burning because we all know that the world needs more love and happiness. So until next time, bye.